Welcome to Django Girls tutorial. My name is Noah Alou and I'll be taking you through the installation process. First of all, we need three good softwares to be able to do this particular tutorial or to follow this particular tutorial. All right, so in order to do that, we first need to download them and uh, they are Python. Python is very, very, very essential in this particular tutorial. Without it, you will not be able to accomplish whatever you are supposed to do in this tutorial. So it comes with two versions. We have the version 3.6.2 and we have the version 2.7.13. But the, so the, the tutorial requires that we use the 3.5 plus, but since this is the uh, newer version that has been released as, as making this video, uh, all you have to do is to click on uh, the button over here download python 3.6.2 then you click on that then it automatically download it for you and um, we we need another software called git and git is a version control system for tracking changes in computer files and coordinating work on those files among multiple people and uh, depending on the operating system you're using you, s you choose that over here so my machine is a Windows application, uh, I'm running Windows based operating system. So I will quickly click on this particular to download the Git application on my desktop. Alright, so aside that we also need a code editor called Sublime Test. And um, when you come to the URL provided over here, you just click on the operating system that you depending on the operating system that you're using you choose that particular operating system so as you mean i'm using uh, mac os or just click on this and then i should be able to download the mac version of the sublime test i'll cancel this all right so i said that you also have other test editors so it depends on you the one that you want to use all right so for the sake of time i've already downloaded all these uh, setups and they are on my machine so all that i have to do is to just jump straight to the installation and i have a folder on my desktop called django girls installation setup now I'll double click that all right so first we are going to install the sublime test editor and i'll do that by clicking on double clicking on that then agreeing to this yes and the next thing to do is to select next and then the path where my uh, then the installation files will go. Uh, it's already on the drive C program file, so I'll click on next. Then I should add to Explorer context menu. I'll say yes. I'll add that. I'll tick the uh, radio button or the checkbox. Next. Then the next thing to do is to click on install. Wait patiently for the software to install. Then after that, you click on finish. All right. To see the file. Or to see the sublime test you come to the start and then you can just choose x and then here we go we have the sublime test 3 over there then this is it and you already have a pre dummy test over there and uh, you can type any test over here anything at all that you can you can you you want to type so it's over to you and if you want to put it on a desktop depending on your operating system and you are here and just right click then come to more then open file location and then we right click again then um, you send to the desktop I'll close this quickly alright so you realize that we have the shortcuts or the icon on our desktop now i'll close this now for now all right so the next thing to do is to install the python and uh, to do that same thing as we did to the sublime test double click on this all right so over here you have to do something very important if you don't do it your python will not be able to run in the command prompt all right so when you're here all you have to do is to tick this checkbox add python 3.6 to path then after you successfully tick the checkbox then you click on install now then you agree yes 
then wait patiently for the setup to install. As we wait patiently for the Python to install, we will run the command prompt cmd in the ready for that. Okay. And now, um, so I should type Python. I expect it to work. All right. So we wait patiently for um. The setup to install. Finally, the Python software has successfully installed, and all that you have to do is to click on close. All right, so we previously learned the CMD, and uh, we typed the Python, but it didn't work. So now. Uh, let's type Python again. Okay, I'll close this and then run it. Now, I'll type Python. All right, yes. So now Python has successfully been installed, so we can try some few distances. Oh, so, wow! It has given us four. Great. So we have successfully installed a Python programming software on our machine. All right, so. Uh, Oh, sorry. Okay. And then uh, it's now. All right. So um, we've successfully installed the Python. Now the next thing to do is to install the Git. All right. So we double click on that. And then we agree. Yes. Then you click on next next and you can add icons to this and then you click on next and next so you use the use git from the windows command prompt you click on next and then next and then all right, so you just have to uh, just you can decide to use the default Windows default console window or any of them, but let's just stick to the use main thing, the default terminal. So this next, then uh, then next. All right, so I'm going to pause the video over here and. Uh, Wait till it finish installing. Nice, it has successfully finished uh, installing. So we are done installing the Git setup. Okay, so you can re read about the release notes. This decide to close this. All right, so thank you for watching this installation uh, process, and I hope you enjoy it. Watch us for the next video. Bye.